The big fight against Evander Holyfield is coming up, and Mike Tyson is into some serious training. Not even Roseanne can break his concentration. You want some fries or anything? We want to oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Mike's on a training regimen that begins at 4 in the morning and can run until 8 o'clock at night. Even this close to the fight, Chief Trainer Jay Bright still puts Tyson through the paces, perfecting every punch. This is like a, a, a Ali Frazier. This is this is like a Ali Foreman. This will be one of Mike's toughest tests. But there was a time for Tyson when the chance to challenge the ghosts of Ali and Foreman seemed far away. This is only Tyson's fourth fight since March of last year, when he ended three years in prison. Now Mike opens up, and the right hand finally dumps him. He won all three previous fights, but the champ is still leery of the pitfalls of fame. We're from the gutter. And from the gutter, the only thing you know is the fight and the lie, so yeah. that's the easy part. The hard part is just staying up top and let's wee wee wee, let's party on there and have a good time. That's the hard, you know, that's the hard part. But once we fall down and we have our backs against the wall, then no one fights as hard as us. And Tyson comes right out, right into Bruce Sheldon. You know, Hemingway once said that men are meant, are not meant to be defeated, just destroyed. And I believe that. I believe that. And with Tyson's newfound religion, the fighter seems to have found peace within himself. It would have had me for 10 years. Nothing can discourage me. I refuse to be beaten. I refuse to lose in life. I'm Deborah Norville. We'll see you then. Okay, now let's go. Hey, baby! <laughs> I know you love it!